Hey YouTube, it is your girl The Racer. I am in the kids' playroom because it's close to outside. You can see I got all the snow today. Yay. Okay, I'm lying. Um, we got the snow actually two days ago. But still doesn't defeat the fact that we got all the snow. But anyway, uh so I just got this off of wish.com or uh I'll download the wish app and I got it for uh thirty percent off the original price for this was $132. I got it for 90 bucks. Um and it got here fairly quick. I purchased it um late Wednesday night and it got here this morning. So um was that technically 2 days ago I purchased this. So it wasn't supposed to get got here until next Tuesday, but here it is. So this is the uh Mass Tank snow blower. Um, and this is it right here. Now, you gotta excuse the background. We're in the kids' playroom. And you, if you have kids, you know how that is. But anyway, um, they did send directions or instructions for it. I found the instructions a bit complicated. So, I'll try to just give you a quick run-through on how to, uh, do the assembly. So, there was a cardboard right here. That was right here that I removed. Uh, that's not... You have to remove that before you use it. Um, there are four bolts that come with it. One, two, and then I have the screws on the inside. And then these two right here that has the uh, the curve to it on each side. And then um, it came with this handle. So I'm going to just, oh, and this piece right here. So I'm going to just do a quick um, how-to. So you got your four pieces. You got your... Um, I don't even know what this is called, but it comes with this removable part. And all you do is you attach it to the base of the, I'm going to just call it the dislodger. And then you have this, um, this little outing pointing towards this handle right here when you install it on top of this. And then you connect it with these two hooks. Okay, how do you do that? There's this handle right here that comes with it. Okay, with this handle, you're going to put it, you're going to put it through this hole, through here, all the way down. As you can see, it's a hole down here. And you're going to put it all the way down through here. Now, this clip here, you're going to have to take this clip off, and then you have to push this in and align it with the holes in there to put this clip back in it to turn it. Because when you turn this right here, I'm going to come right here so you can see. When you turn this right here, it rotates the front, just like that, okay? All right, <clears throat> right here you have your reset button for the circuit breaker. And this cord right here, make sure you have these clipped in. All this stuff already came attached, just make sure it's clipped in. There's this socket right here. So the only thing you really have to assemble is this head piece right here with these two clips, this handle, and this um, this whole metal part. Now it comes with this top part, but this part is what you have to put um, put together. You have to align this uh, top piece to the bottom of here, which you can see is two holes on here. I put mine on the top hole and did it on both sides. So you have this lock unlock button where you can push you push it in to lock this in place, or you can leave it unlocked so you can turn it and twist it whichever way you please. Okay, then right here you have these clips right here. Now when you unsnap these here, it allows you to bend it down and bend it forward for um, safe storage. And then to put it back, you just lock it in place by pulling these down. Kind of like a stroller if you have kids. Uh, then you have right here, the squeezable thing right here. Now mind you, I haven't used it yet, so I'll be testing it out right after I show you how this goes. And then this button is to start. So you push that and begin to work. So I will be right back um to show you how this thing 
actually works. See you in the next video.